The fear of poverty. The fear of poverty is overcome by means of the seven inexhaustible jewels. Traditionally, these are gold, silver, crystal, ruby, coral, agate, and carnelian. But we should understand not from a limited physical perspective, but more from the spiritual side of it. The material poverty holds no fear for him. Talking about Melaripa, he had nothing. He did not even have any clothes. He was naked, <laughs> other than some piece of cloth covering his loins. But he had nothing. He lived in the snow in the mountains, and it did not bother him. The environments did not bother him. So material poverty holds no fear for Melaripa because the wealth he values is not material, but springs from. A renunciation of material wealth. The seven Jews can never be taken away from him by circumstances. As positive mental events, they are inexhaustible and endless. Fear of poverty is not a matter of money. You can have a lot of money and still feel insufficient. So the state of wealth here is not how big your account is, but it's your ability to give. A person who has great ability to give, even if he has little to no money, he still feels wealthy, because he has no fear of losing wealth. A person who does not have the ability to give, even if he has a million dollars in his savings account or his retirement account or his investment, he will still feel poor. He will still feel financially insecure. To overcome poverty, we should use merits and spiritual giving. Merits and spiritual giving are the best means of overcoming poverty. Worldly people don't understand this. They try to chase after money to find financial freedom, but they will soon realize that the whatever they have, whatever they have accumulated, will never be enough, and therefore they have to continue to chase after more money. But it's fruitless because they can never achieve financial freedom. Why is that? Well, they already set themselves up for financial insecurity. The fact that they chase after money that means they are, don't have enough. And when they continue to chase, they're continuing to tell themselves they don't have enough. So how can you have financial security if you tell yourself that you don't have enough? So they set themselves up for failure because the fact that they have planted that thought in themselves of financial insecurity is already creating financial insecurity that they don't have enough. The state of wealth again is not how much money one has, but one's ability to give. In the songs of Milarepa, he was a poet and he liked to sing. When people came to ask him questions. He would reply with a song, <laughs> and one of his songs he sings, meditative absorption can be so tangibly and immediately beneficial uh, that it is experienced as a sort of sustenance, and that's what he survives on, is the joy of meditation. Inexhaustible too is the rapture and bliss of the concentrated mind attained through meditation. Fear of hunger, I sought for some food. Absorption in the absolute. This was that food, and from hunger I now have no fear. So he feeds on meditative joy. This is something that any regular meditator will be able to appreciate. Meditative absorption can be so tangibly and immediately beneficial. See, because the inner nourishment that we have will keep our concentrated mind in a self-sufficient state of spiritual well-being. So the more positive mental state of mind that we have, generally speaking, especially the state of mindful awareness, it can nourish our whole psychophysical organism, our body and mind. So when attachment and aversion to things and experiences are abandoned, fear of hunger is nowhere to be found. In terms of dealing with fear of material, of poverty, a couple of things that we can do is to. Find way to empower ourselves by developing our spirit of giving, and to find joy in meditation, because in meditation it is very positive state of being. 
And when you feel happy, you don't feel the need to pursue. You are sufficient. Therefore, with the feeling that you don't need something, it helps you to be contented.